Hi, we're Kim and Justin with the Nintendo Studio and we are here at Winter Tour Museum in Delaware where we had a residency uh, and it served as the inspiration for our latest collection. So we're going to take you on a tour and tell you a little bit uh, about the work. So we're a print and pattern studio and we have a special focus on wallpaper and fabric and we're artist led so when we start a collection we are usually driven by some kind of artistic and um, conceptual interest. Uh, this year our collection came from this time at Winterthur Museum and Gardens. So this is the room that really made us want to come to Winterthur. Uh, it's called the Chinese Parlor and it just really connected with us about what wallpaper could be. Um, we learned a lot of stories about how this wallpaper in the room was carried over and taken apart from France and, um, and installed and wallpaper was something that it used to be taken with you when you would move and we thought that story um, was really interesting because we think about wallpaper nowadays as something that's permanent and never moves and taking it off is such a big project. Um, so while the paper I'm showing you called Dreamland isn't specifically inspired by the wallpaper in this room, the way that we think about wallpaper and our understanding of wallpaper really changed when we saw this room and learned a little bit about its history. And this one is called Dreamland, and the colorway is called Love, and it's based on some of the other things that you're seeing in our visit to Winterthur. So we spent a lot of time investigating all the different rooms in the house. Um, this used to be the home of H.F. DuPont and his family, and now it's a museum based on his decorative arts collections, and um, there's just so many things to look at. So sketchbooking is a super important part of our process. Um, we spent a lot of time drawing the things that we saw, seeing what they might translate into, and just exploring through drawing. Sometimes it's just the tiniest little mark that's suggestive or interesting. Um, uh, these flowers are the basis of the pressed flowers wallpaper that, we, that came out of this residency. So sketchbooking, like I said, was a huge part of the process for us, and it was a way to collect things that um, not only were interesting in the moment, but that we could reconsider as we came back to our studio to work through things. A lot of times we'll do special projects or we'll do little one-off things like this series of handkerchiefs that we made. Um, they were all inspired not only by the imagery, but also by the words that we found and the different... Um, lettering and calligraphy. Uh, these are early Pennsylvania German fracture kinds of pieces and they made house blessings and uh, marriage certificates and birth announcements and they're all beautifully decorated and illustrated. Here's that dreamland wallpaper and maybe now you can see a little bit about the connection between some of the imagery that we have in this wallpaper and the early Pennsylvania German uh, illustrations and illustrated documents. Uh, Winter Tour is a, is a really big house and it's so easy to get lost in the many rooms that are just filled with artwork and furniture and textiles and we were really lucky to work with so many talented curators and the museum staff uh, especially Catherine Dan Rober and Tom Geiler. They were particularly helpful in finding out what was interesting for us to explore. So this is one of the decorative tiles that came out of our time here at Winter Tour. And um, I don't actually, I never would have thought I would be looking at some of the old unicorn paintings and prints. I realized that there's something really special and magical about unicorns that um, I really wanted to think about how to reimagine the idea of a unicorn and um, and what what is it about making a polka dotted unicorn suddenly felt so much more special and unique and something that um, that I really wanted to explore. 
There are so many animals and flowers and pieces of nature in this kind of um, printmaking and painting. Even things that um, we weren't sure what to do with, they all go in the sketchbook and hopefully they'll become the basis of future work. This is called a, a wonder fish, um, another special thing from Pennsylvania German early fracture pieces. Here I wanted to show you our spiritual wonder clock. It actually comes from some Pennsylvania German house blessing which was meant to be hung on the wall and it had the hours of the day, um, the hours listed with numbers and there was admonitions or spiritual meditations, religious um, uh, words for the family to think about on the hour. And we've made a modern version and our admonitions are more like idioms and um, turns of phrase that we think offer something to really think about. And all the images and drawings come from, um, well some of them come from prints that we saw here, but they also come from some of this, um, the animals, the sculpture, the ceramics, these are chalkware pieces. And we drew a lot of these strange little animals and some of them became the, the little animals in the wallpapers, in the posters like the spiritual wonder clock. And we were really inspired by um, the idea of this conceptually, but also the, the figures, the symbols, and the icons that we found in some of the early American decorative items. One of the things that we learned from the curators and working with the team at Winterthur is that a lot of the colors that you see in the museum are aged, that in the time that they were made, the colors were much more vibrant and much more um, vivid than what we are used to seeing when we look at old things. And so it became really important to us to really think about what color um, should be like and would have been like in those times and it allowed us to move beyond what we think of as sort of an old-fashioned or antique palette into these brighter and more vivid colors. Thank you so much for coming with us on this visit to Winterthur. We hope you like the collection and we look forward to um, showing you the work in real life.